Facilitating inquiry-based learning is not as difficult as some may think it is. It is not necessary, for example, to have student-directed inquiry activities every day. In fact, students learn best when their learning experience involves a mix of both student-directed and teacher-guided inquiry. It is better to make inquiry a way of life by incorporating some elements of inquiry into every lesson, rather than to have fully student-directed inquiry activities for one or two lessons while teaching the rest in the didactic mode. To inquire is to ask and investigate. Hence, inquiry-based learning essentially involves asking questions, generating possible answers, and evaluating the answers. It involves focusing on understanding concepts rather than knowing the facts, and fostering deep learning through mental engagement. Inquiry-based learning can occur quite naturally if the learning environment encourages curiosity, collaboration, exploration, and experimentation. Strategies for creating such an environment include adopting an open-minded, nurturing, and non-judgmental stance, encouraging students to ask questions and to generate and evaluate possible answers, asking questions to spark curiosity, and promote deep thinking, discussing concepts in authentic contexts and providing students with opportunities to carry out investigations of their own. I think inquiry-based learning is beneficial when it is facilitated in a non-judgmental and open-minded environment. This is encouraged by the professor when he directs students onto the right track. Even when the answer is incorrect, Instead of simply commenting, it is wrong. It builds confidence in students, encourages them to share their thoughts and answers. On top of content knowledge, it helps us to develop critical thinking skills and attitude towards learning. Our classroom is an environment where we feel comfortable to ask questions and clarify doubts. In class, Prof Yen will guide us to reach conclusions ourselves, making us responsible for our own learning. Also, when a question is asked by a classmate, we'll discuss the question and reach a common answer. After doing our tutorials, we'll show our answers in class and discuss improvements to the presented solutions, ensuring that everyone can learn together and nobody is left behind. Examples of questions that spark curiosity and promote deep thinking include Have you ever wondered why this is so? Is this explanation complete? Is it consistent with experimental evidence? Examples of authentic contexts include How the concept was established by scientists? What are some real-world applications of the concept? What are some common misconceptions and how these could be avoided or addressed in school? I also include a further investigation section in practical sessions to prompt students to work collaboratively to formulate hypotheses to explain their experimental observations and to carry out investigations to test their hypotheses. Inquiry-based learning is not a one-size-fits-all strategy. I hope what I've shared will encourage you to try similar strategies in your classroom to motivate your students to seek deeper conceptual understanding through asking questions. <music>